Asheville, Ohio. Okay, how long have you been in Columbus? Um, since I was like 18. So what is your living situation right now? Um, I live in my car. And how long has that been going on? For the past month. For the past month? Yeah. Uh, before then? Before then, um, I was, um, well, me and my daughter, I was homeless, and then me and my daughter, and both my daughters, and my grandson got home uh, from an apartment, or actually a house, and um, we moved in it, and um, ended up not paying the rent, um, and getting evicted, so we're um, back out on the street again. So the kids are in a safe place, though? Yeah, and yes. So the landlord and them didn't care that you had children or not, huh? No, they're older. They're, oh, they're older. Yeah, 18 to 23. Okay, so you were telling me about something you have going on here in Columbus for the homeless. And what is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get um, something together um, called um, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. I can't remember. Um, something um, I want to get um, like donations and, and go out and like me and the homeless walk around. Other people, other homeless people walk around and take donations for the homeless and um, donate to like um, other churches and things like that to get supplies and things for the homeless. Because uh, a lot of a lot of the churches are running out of food and you know like uh, supplies and things. So, ha so have you ever been on the streets before? Before this time? Oh yeah, what's, um, what's, a couple of times. What's the longest you've ever been on the streets? Um, about a year. So how was your experience out here when you were out here? Um, what are kind of the things you had to go through? I was living on, uh, on Sullivan Avenue um, with the other homeless um, during winter. That was a very hard thing for winter. Um, <coughs> the, um, let me see. Um, Experience when I experience, um, I've seen a lot of things I never thought I'd ever see. <laughs> you know, when you're when you're when you're out here and you're homeless, um, when no, when you're not homeless, you, you're blind to the homeless. You know, you're blind to the things that the homeless um, go through and and things that you see. You know that that you normally wouldn't see. I mean, things you see when you're homeless, you wouldn't see when you're not homeless. Okay, so like. Now that I'm, I've been homeless. Um, say I, I had a house now, and I was living normal. Um, because of me being previously homeless, I can see the things out here now, and I can pick them out. You know, like I can say, oh, well, he's homeless, or he's on drugs, and you know, I can pick everybody out. Um, when before, not being homeless or being on drugs, um, I couldn't pick them out. You know, um, now I can pick everything out. You know, um, it's just um, I got, I got on. I got on drugs um, and uh, was on it for about 10 years. What and, age did that start? Um, 31. 31? Yep. Um, well, the hard, harder drugs started at 31. Um, I've pretty much always been on drugs. Um, I mean, I was on, uh, the hard start till I was like 17. Um, I was on crack cocaine and then that progressed. Um, I met a, a feller <laughs> that got, was on heroin, and I tried it and got on that. I was on that for 10 years, and then got on fentanyl when that came around, um, and the heroin was gone. Uh, <coughs> let me get a drink. Um, so has anybody, are you reaching out to get help this time? Of being oh, in I'm, your home? Yeah, I've been, um, well, see here, this is what happened. Um, I um, got in some trouble um, this past year. And um, instead of trying to get out of it, like I always did, I went ahead and I told him to put me on probation. Because um, I knew that if I was put on probation that I, I might have a chance, you know what I'm saying, at, at getting off the drugs. So um, I um, actually was put on probation for three years and I was clean, uh, got clean for about 10 months. And um, you know, I got an apartment, got my car, got a car, got an apartment, got back with my kids. You know, I was finally home with my kids again. Everything was going great. Um, like I said, every, all of us were supposed to get jobs and stuff, and everybody just got really used to, you know, spending time with each other and not doing nothing. Um, so nobody got jobs, and we ended up losing the place, like I said. And 
uh, my oldest is at her. My oldest moved to Colorado and with my grandson, and that really hit home. So they left this time? Yeah. Are they going to be coming back once you get housing and everything? No. No? No, she moved uh, away with another man. Uh, she was having problems with her with her boyfriend. And then my, my youngest is with her dad right now, but she's coming back home once I get a place again. Um, she's like my little road dog, you know, she's a little mini me. But, um, well, I know, I know you're going to make it through everything you're going through. How, so, is um, Tom over there, did you just meet Tom this month that you've been here? No. You've known him for a while? Yeah, long I've known Tom for a long time. Um, <coughs> I, um, I've known Tom for a very long time. Uh, I was out here, um, when I wasn't homeless, you know, I used to come out and give, help Tom out, you know, give him, give him money, give him food, you know, things like that. Um, and then, um, what I was saying though before, um, we lost the house and um, <laughs> bring it, um, I ended up back out here on the street. And now that I'm back out here on the street, um, things, I've noticed things, I, I should have came back to the west side. Right. Um, I, came, I was living up on Cleveland Avenue and I was away from everything, everybody. And I was doing good, 10 months clean. Um, now that I've been back out here, I'm, you know, back on meth. Um, you know, um, I'm seeing my the things starting to come back, like, um, you know, uh, problems with the police and, and getting in trouble. You know, I recently just got a paraphernalia charge a couple of days ago, and um, that's going to cause some problems for me, you know. So I might end up either going back to jail because of this, and it's going to ruin everything I worked so hard for. Um, so, you're <laughs> from Asheville. Yeah. So how, at what age did oh, you leave Asheville? Um, I actually left there um, when I was 17, and I met my kid's dad. I moved to Columbus, you know, partying when you're 18 and going to clubs and stuff. Um, got with him. Um, we had our first kid at 22. We was financially stable, lived a very good life. Um, I opened up a nail salon, you know, I went to school, opened up my nail salon, um, ended up having another child uh, five years after that. Um, then me and him got on crack cocaine together and we were selling drugs and got on, I ended up using the drug, um, and we ended up losing everything and then we split up and, um, I lost the business, everything. So, so with you being a woman out here, is it tough with the men? Have no, you had it's any actually, problems with anybody trying to? Yeah, I actually, um, I, I never thought I would ever... Um, walk the street or become a prostitute. Um, I never thought I would, uh, but being on drugs, um, you kind of like run out of resorts, you know, it's either sell drugs or sell yourself or do some, some, kind of, some kind of criminal activity to get your drug or asking people, people for money like panhandling. Um, but um, I was all, all out of res resorts and it seemed really easy, easy for the other girls, so I tried it and um, I was almost raped twice. And I'm gonna say almost raped because I never was raped, thank God, you know. Um, so do you always try to keep men around you yes. when you're out here? Yeah, I do. I, I always try to have someone with me. Um, if, it's, if it's not, I never, hardly ever a female. I don't ever really hang out with females. It's usually a, a man or you know, older man or, or someone that can help me, you know. Um, and I can't, I can't scream or anything, so if I was to get raped or I can't scream, my throat's messed up. Um, so I can't, you know, actually no one would know I was screaming <laughs> if, I, if that was to happen. So it's, that's why I keep someone around me at all times or I wear a whistle or something. Um, is, uh, so, so winter's coming up. Are you, yeah. are you prepared with blankets and jackets and things? Um, I am actually don't plan to be back out, be out here. I, I've noticed that I am messing up and I don't want that and um, I'm, I'm going away I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> okay well honestly thank you Candy um, I'm going to leave everybody I, I'll do an update <laughs> with you here soon yeah. I hope everything works out for you thank you and thank you for you know giving your time for this uh, your story will help somebody out there I'm sure it will help somebody I do I hope
does. <laughs> you have good day. Thank you.